Well, hello, and thanks for joining us here on Chasing the Dollar. We have a huge night at Wentworth Park this Saturday night. It is the Paws of Thunder final, one of the biggest races of the year, certainly here in Sydney. And coming up before that, Jeff Collison. We've got the Collison, and that's where we find your best bet of the night as well. Yeah, a greyhound called R. Jip, Christy Sultana's a fantastic greyhound, sitting up in box one. Look, this dog's unlucky not to be in the Paws of Thunder. He ran third. I think he was two lengths from the winner uh, in his heat. His run was absolutely fabulous. He was never out of trouble and I think he'll win easily race for number one R. Jip better than night. OK, there we go. We'll get uh, Jeff's Paws of Thunder tip, of course, as we go through the quaddy legs here at Wentworth Park on Saturday night. It starts in race number five on the program. This is a distance event for fourth and fifth graders. Where are you going here? Well, I'm going for Suresh Bale, number two. Look, she's new to Wentworth Park. She's new to 720 metres, but she's from the very strong Victorian kennels of Jenny Hunt. Now, she's won... 10 from 50 in Victoria, but the good thing about it is she's won four of her past seven. So since she's moved up to middle distance racing, she's really fired. She won in handy time last start at a sale over 650 metres, and this is a pretty quiet field. I think she'll just be too good for them. She looks to have too much class. For second, I'll put in number seven, Bulletproof Esky. Well box wide, blew the start here last run, can begin better, and is a very consistent little greyhound. My number's 2734 in the first leg of the quaddy. Well, one of the feature races of the night is race number six on the program. $40,000 to the winner it is. It is the summer distance plate. Some very good stays going around here as well. Yes, it looks uh, it looks again uh, like a Victorian uh, uh, Quinella. Number eight, Space Star. Uh, drew box eight last week, which is his favourite box. Uh, ran the fastest time of the night. Led uh, from the first turn and gave nothing else a chance. Should do the same tonight, uh, on Saturday night, because number seven, Pumped Up Czar, heads for the fence. I know his trainer wanted an inside box with him uh, and so he should give Space Star a lovely run down the outside. The Improvable should be number one Stark, also trained in Victoria. Uh, and Stark won first up here on uh, in his heat but he ran uh, around three lengths slower than Space Star. He hadn't seen the track but I don't know if he can improve that much. Incidentally while they're both trained in Victoria, Ben, they're both owned in New South Wales which is good. My numbers in the second leg of the Quaddy are 8 one, three, two. Yeah, let's go to the third leg of the Quaddy race seven on the program. This is over 5.20 as well. You've got the Daly Kennel having a win here. Yes, I think so. Uh, look, Andrea Daly's got three of the eight runners in the uh, Paws of Thunder and uh, not surprising considering she brought 22 greyhounds to <laughs> Wentworth Park last Saturday night. Uh, I don't know if she can win the Paws of Thunder the way her greyhounds are boxed, but she should at least get a nice consolation prize here uh, through Wentworth Park newcomer Cracker Jack Max, number two. He's got very good early speed. He's won four of his past six in Melbourne. Uh, the way he's boxed, he looks like he'll go straight to the lead from box two. He ran 29.43 at Sandown last run, a very quick run. I think he'll lead all the way from Gilgamesh, number six, from the inform Justin King Kettle. Uh, Gilgamesh can handle a wide box, but I think Cracker Jack Max will be too quick early. My numbers in the third leg of the quaddy are two, six, eight and seven. OK, well, that'll take us along to the feature race of the night. One of the feature events of the year as well. It is the Paws of Thunder final, $100,000 to the winner. A Group 1 event. We may not have the superstars we've seen in Paws of Thunders of years gone, but we've certainly got a hot field. Where do you find a winner for us in this year's Paws of Thunder, Jeff? Well, I think, number one, assertive Bella can give Jason McKay his first Paws of Thunder win. Uh, he's only been in uh, Jason's kennels for five weeks, this bitch. She was a fifth grader when she won her first race here two starts back. But gee whiz, her heat win was impressive. Uh, she didn't run quite as fast a time as Shoulders and Dinah Villa, but she was in the last race. The track was very sloppy by then, and she only ran about three or four lengths slower than they did. And from box one, uh, she's beautifully drawn because number two, Kerrigan Bale from the Daly Kennels, had the eight in his heat and wanted to use plenty of the track. I think he'll just give assertive Bella a fabulous run along the fence. Uh, look, uh, Anthony has a party won this race in 2011 with fans he will and shoulders box six I think is second pick in the race uh, there were two boxes left when they did the draw Ben there was one and six everyone thought uh, Anthony would be disappointed when he picked up box six but he cheered he didn't want the one he said shoulders goes better from boxes four out to eight he exploded out of the six to win his heat so he was delighted to get the six in the final but he, he will need to explode out of the boxes again to win. And I just think the draw favours number one assertive Bella. So I'm going for one, six, two, three as my numbers in the Paws of Thunder. 
All right, Jeff, we've already got your best bet. We know it comes up in the Collison, which is race number four on the program. Take us through all the others as well. Yeah, my best value bet is Luki Chino, race 10, number three. A lot of speed in this race, but Luki Chino racing very well, wants to be drawn near the fence. I think he'll be too strong for some of those who will be getting a bit tired in the run home. He's my value bet. My numbers I'll be taking in the quaddy. The first leg I'll be taking two and seven. The second leg I'm taking eight, one, three. In the third leg, I'm going to take 268. And in the fourth leg, the big one, the Paws of Thunder, I'm taking 1-6 and number two, Kerrigan Bale, for third. Yeah, what a great night of greyhound racing it looks like this Saturday night here at Wentworth Park. Jeff, enjoy the Paws of Thunder, mate. I'm looking forward to it very much. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, so, everyone. See you next time on Chasing the Dollar.